What's up guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Phantom 4 and the Mavic Pro. We are going to be comparing them in size as well as body style. Now of course the Mavic is a lot smaller than the Phantom, but we're going to look at just what makes the Mavic smaller. Now many people believe that just because the Mavic is a smaller drone than the Phantom 4, it lacks in certain areas like camera quality or performance, but they are totally wrong. The Mavic is still a beast and lives up to the Phantom 4's potential. So what we're going to do is take a look at the propellers, we're going to take a look at the battery, and overall what what makes the Mavic smaller than the Phantom. Now one of the things that makes the Mavic so much smaller than the Phantom are the propellers. Now this is a Mavic Pro propeller, as you guys can see they do fold right in half. It makes it a lot easier so that when you're traveling you can fold them up and tuck them into the drone rather than have to keep taking them off. Comparing this to a Phantom 4 propeller is almost like night and day, as you can see even when you fully extend it, it still is smaller than the Phantom 4 propeller, so this definitely saves space in your bag. As for installing propellers on the Mavic Pro, it's pretty much the same as the Phantom 4. All you have to do is push down and twist to lock them into place. Next up, we're going to take a look at the batteries. On the left is the Mavic Pro battery. On the right is the Phantom 4 series battery. Of course, the Mavic Pro battery is a little bit smaller to make it more portable, but the Phantom 4 series battery does have a higher capacity, coming in at 5,350 milliamp hours, while the Mavic Pro battery only comes in at 3,830. Now, this isn't that big of a deal. The Mavic Pro does keep the same flight time, if not longer than the Phantom 4, just because it doesn't drain as much power. Now one thing that makes the Phantom 4 so bulky is the landing gear on the bottom. Now the reason it's so high is because it needs to protect the camera from when you're landing or when you're taking off or even when you're just setting it down. Now with the Mavic Pro, DJI moved the camera to the front and shrunk the size by almost half it seems. And of course you would think that because the camera is smaller than the Phantom 4's camera, it would have less capabilities such as lower resolutions and lower frame rates, but that's where you'd be wrong. It pretty much has the same camera as the Phantom 4. There are some little differences, but if you do get the Phantom 4 Professional, you'll see a pretty big jump in quality as you can shoot 4K and 60 frames per second. Now as many people know, when you're packing your Phantom 4 up and you're ready to go home, throw it inside of your bag or your case, you take the quick release props off by just screwing them, and pretty much this is how you fit it into your bag, just like this, there's no folding components. With the Mavic Pro, there's no need to take the propellers off, you can keep them on there, all you have to do is fold in the arms. On the back, they fold inwards like this, after you're done, tuck the propellers in so they don't get caught on anything. Then you can go ahead, flip it over, slide these ones in, they go in a little bit differently than the ones on the back, so be careful you don't snap the arm off. Tuck in the propellers, and there you are, you have a nice compact traveling solution. So now that we've gone in depth and looked at a lot of the different body styles that the Mavic has over the Phantom 4, we can see that when you place it from above, it really isn't that much smaller. Of course it has the same wingspan and the propellers and the general style look the same, but we all know that once you pack this thing up and fold the arms in, it's a lot more portable. Now finally taking a look at the front of these two drones, this is where it's most apparent that the Mavic is a lot smaller than the Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 looks a little bit more bulky because of its camera placement as well as its high landing gear. The Mavic is a lot slimmer and smaller, it looks like it's ready to cut through the air, while the Phantom would almost be blown away by a big gust. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is the Mavic is a lot more aerodynamic. So that's about all for this video, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that it helped you out. If it did, definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Coming up, the Phantom 4 Pro will be delivered to my house around Friday, so once I get that I'll be able to put all three of these drones to the test and let you know what I think. But anyway, that's about all for this video and I'll talk to you guys later.